All the top panels have got locking handles on them. Make sure they're locked when you're using the machine. That would prevent anybody from getting in there to any hot components or spinning objects. So always make sure that they use the user key and that the panels are locked. When you're looking at the, the, the Quad Chip 160, underneath each, each cover are separate articles of uh, maintenance or the fuel tank, etc., etc. On this side, where you get to the access to the blades on this side. So you have to take the top panel off and the side panel off and then using a 19mm spanner gives you access to the blades for checking how good the blades are and rotating the blades, etc. You've also got a handful of grease nipples under this cover, same as you've got a handful of grease nipples elsewhere, but we'll cover those in detail in a minute. This is the remote greaser for the belt tensioner and also two for the turntable. There are also separate grease nipples on the turntable ring itself and one on the indexing lever here. Nineteen mil spanner. Undo this one bolt here and then you can lift up the cover and there is a lock which stops the cover from going back down. Put the bolt up there out of the way. The click there was from the top cover locking bolt. You can see it just through there. You can also use that to lock the rotor in the right position when you're going to turn the blades. The flywheel could be dirty, it could be covered in grease, there could be all kinds of muck and rubbish in there, So, and it has got sharp blades on there, so it's advisable to wear gloves. Hold back the locking pin, turn the rotor around till you get it to the right place, put the lock in, and then it gives you access to the blades, and when you're doing the blades, undoing or doing up the blade bolts you're not fighting rotation of the flywheel as well. You can't shut the cover with that locking tab in, the, in there, it's in the way so you know you have to pull that up out of the way to get your cover back down. You've got a grease nipple for the moving roller there, you've got a grease nipple for the main rotor there and that, that rotor assembly or bearing is also fed by a grease nipple here so you can either use the, either of those two. There is also a grease nipple for the fixed roller, which is part of the recommended servicing plan. You'll find there are all the recommended greasing points at the end of this training video and also in section 6 of the operator's manual. Also underneath this cover you've got the uh, electronic valve which controls the direction of the rollers, the locking pin mechanism, a battery and also a junction box. This is the moving roller with a big spring there pulling it into its uh, partner down there. Um, correct spring pressure is that you can just about open it up at rest. If you do need to adjust it, use this mechanism here. You can also use that mechanism if you need to take the spring off and move the carriage up and down or get to the grease gun or anything like that. 